Hello, A24 family. I am Daniel, the A24 Superfan. On this channel, we review anything and everything related to A24, past, present, and future. Today, we're taking a look at Spring Breakers, Harmony's beautiful yet vibrant film about motivations and how children can really have some very bad ones. Spring Breakers is a movie that explores motivations, aspirations, and dreams, and almost trying to find a cathartic experience through Spring Break. Um, but stuff that is usually pretty light and playful can turn very dark and dangerous extremely quickly. So let's take a look at it. This film follows four college students and the trip that they take to Florida for spring break in order to experience something they've never seen before and obviously to party. Along the way, they meet a few particular and peculiar characters who slowly and steadily lead them down a path of drugs, crime, and intense violence. This is a coming-of-age tale that speaks on the character's subliminal need for catharsis at a young age, their motivations, their intentions, and overall their actions. Next, we're going to be speaking a little bit more about the characters themselves, the things that I liked and disliked about the film, and overall the watchability of this beautiful film. This film has five or so major characters, with one additional character playing the uh, antagonist of the film. So let's go ahead and go through them real quick. We have Candy who is played by Vanessa Hudgens, Faith, who is played by Selena Gomez, Cody, who is played by Rachel Corinne, Britt, who is played by Ashley Benson, Alien, who is played by James Franco, and finally our additional character, Archie, who is played by the late and great Gucci Mane. Also, before I take a deep dive into things that I liked and disliked, as well as the watchability of the movie, I want to quickly speak on why I like this movie so much. It really was such a vibrant film. It had a lot to love, but it also caught the viewer, caught me specifically, me and my girlfriend, we watched it, caught us a little bit by, by storm, so to speak. We didn't expect to watch what we were actually watching. We thought this was going to be a very run-of-the-mill party movie. I mean, especially with the score, having you know people like Nicki Minaj, Skrillex. It wasn't something we expected to actually enjoy. We, just, we thought it was just going to be another party movie, so to speak, another Van Wilder, some stupid film like that. But it actually ended up becoming a very in-depth look at how the psychology of people work, how people's psychology work, depending on their motivations as well as intentions and what they're looking for in terms of catharsis. So overall, I really did enjoy this movie, but let's go ahead quickly and take a look at some of the things that I really did like about it. First and foremost, the cinematography and the visual contrasts were easily the most enjoyable part of this movie. The brights were bright and the darks were darks. Everything in between was just very beautiful and vibrant, kind of effervescent. Reminded me a lot of what an acid trip would feel like if you didn't take enough to actually get crazy amount of visuals. I know it's a very weird thing to say, but it really is what it reminded me of because the brights were just so effervescent and the darks were really kind of menacing. But overall, the cinematography, the camera work, and the visual contra contrast in this movie were just sensational. Also, another thing about this movie that I feel like hasn't been spoken on a lot, given the reviews that I've looked at so far, is the good versus evil contrast. There's a lot of good versus evil in this movie. There's, there's aspects of this movie that seem like they could be almost like an angel and devil on someone's shoulder. And every single decision that these main characters make, they can be getting you know the advice from one side or the other. So that good versus evil contrast is something that I really did enjoy about this film also. And I will say the last thing that I really loved about this film was the acting and the characters in general. I loved it. With the exception of Alien, James Franco's character, I didn't really love him too much because he was a pretty annoying, I've never really, I guess, liked the wangster type character in any type of film, movie, show, person in general, in real life. I've never liked it, so he really did annoy me for the most part. But overall, every single character, when it came down to Candy, Britt, Faith, all of them just played such a great role. And it's so wild to see each of their motivations and how they fell off throughout the film, depending on you know their level of of comfort with, with the situation they were put within. So the acting as well as the characters in general were just sensational for this movie. Next, I'm gonna speak a little bit more on what I disliked about the film and then the watchability. To be completely honest with you, I love this film and there really wasn't anything that I truly disliked. The only thing I can speak on that I didn't feel fit with the movie very well, but at the same time did fit, was the score. The music itself was not my favorite. Um, I really would have liked to have seen something like an Uncut Gems type or a Good Times type soundtrack to this movie. So instead of having specific artists like Nicki Minaj and Skrillex 
the actual production for sound or the score would have been done by a specific producer that could have made the sounds for the music. That's what I would have loved to see. But overall, the movie was great and the score was not something that was gonna you know, discount me or discount the movie itself or make me not wanna watch it again. It really is a great film with a deeper meaning. So overall, that's why things that I really didn't like about this movie, there was only about one of them. Um, I guess one other one that I can speak on very briefly was the final act not being very believable. Um, I'm not going to really speak on it much because of major spoilers there, but just know that I didn't really feel like it was super believable, but maybe it wasn't even something that actually happened. Maybe it was more of a foreshadowing or a thought process that these characters are going through. So that's what I personally believe happened. Anyway, I'm going to speak on the watchability next and we'll speak more on it. Now, my favorite part of every single video I do, what is the watchability of this movie? Personally speaking, Harmony Spring Breakers is beautiful, vibrant, and it just has an effervescence about it. I would say this is a should watch and listen very closely. Each character has their own personality and their own motivations, and you see them slowly but surely fall off throughout the movie. Personally speaking, this is a movie that's about an hour and 30 minutes worth of runtime. It's not going to take up your life, I mean, at a, at a very large scale. So I would say invest in it. Take some time, watch it. This is A24 canon. Arguably, this is one of the biggest movies that A24 dropped initially and what put them on the map, essentially. So I would say take your dive. See what you like about it. See what you don't like about it. And also, if any of you students are taking any filmography classes or taking any psychology classes that breaks on a specific film, this is the one for you. Though it seems like there's not a lot at, at the forefront. The movie doesn't seem like it has a lot of density. This is a deep deep movie. It has a lot to unpack and a lot of things to look at. This is not a movie you're going to want to just kind of breeze by. This is one you're going to have to want to take in and look at in depth and understand what each character's motivations, perception, the need for catharsis is. It really is a great film. So I would say yes, watch this movie. You should watch it and definitely, definitely pay close attention to it. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel, as well as leave a couple of comments because out of the first five films, I've, or excuse me, videos I make, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the best comments and send them a Michelle Yo everything, everywhere, all at once pin. I don't have it at this exact moment, but I'll be sure to show it in the next video. And today I'll be sending us off with Marcel the Show. You guys have a great day.